Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm going to show you how to customize reports. The very first thing we're going to do is click on the reports icon in the header. And you can see that the reports are listed alphabetically. You also have some functions here. So if you want to export to QuickBooks Online or Zero, you'd click these buttons. And you can filter um, further if you want just to do the financial reports or other or patient reports. You can do that as well. So I can also turn on patients if I want to turn two filters on. Let's go ahead and click on our sales report and in our sales report we'll start in the top left section here we have a summary section which is represented by this little section here so if we wanted to turn that off to get more uh, to get more visibility of the graph we could do that as well or we can turn it back on if you want to see that quick summary section you also have the ability to create uh, your own versions of reports and we also have preloaded notarial versions of reports so if you want to see bill and code sales for example you would just click on this and it would be uh, displayed by bill and code sales for the last 30 days. So we do have the ability to filter the date range and we have some pre-selects here or you can custom uh, range as well. So let's go ahead and we'll create a brand new report. So we're gonna be listing this report by practitioner in this case. And so I know I have a, a practitioner and his name is Joe Strummer. So I will create a customized report for Joe Strummer because I want to see what his sales are. Uh, over some pre-selects that I have. So uh, right now it's selected to all practitioners and so I only want to select it by Joe Strummer. Uh, we come to the locations. He works at both locations so I'm going to leave that on. Patients as well. Um, he also treats a number of patients so I'm going to leave it selected to all patients but if you want if you had a long list of patients you can just type in here and it will search individually for the patient name. Um, and then we're going to go to what I want to filter by and it's going to be all services that he performs and tips and I'm going to leave um, I'll, I'll leave uh, products off of it right now because we don't sell products at our clinic and so we'll come to one last uh, pre-select here is columns and so you could add any columns that you want so I'm quite happy with the columns that I have selected but if you want location name for example or invoice when it was sent or or balance so you can add these columns as well so if I wanted to balance for example I would just select balance and it's going to put another column in there for the balance and so you can see I've added that balance column and once I'm done I can just click update and now I have a specific sales report for this practitioner and you can create uh, many types of versions of sales report it doesn't have to be by prac it could be anything that you want to filter it by there's also the download uh, you have the ability to download or you can print. Now with the print, I'm just gonna caution you how many columns. So if you select 20 columns, it's obviously not gonna fit on a printed sheet. So you might have to turn on, turn off some of the columns if you uh, want it to print, because it's only gonna have the ability to print and you're gonna have to scale to fit your printer uh, if you go beyond a certain amount of columns. So that's how you'd customize reports. So thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about Notero's features, uh, you can watch the complete crash course here. Also click subscribe to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks again.